Get ready for the rise of the alt girl. What is an alternative girl and how can I tell if I am one? Well, sweetheart, if you don't know what an alternative girl is, you probably are not one of those and that is absolutely okay. Welcome to the Drama Queen Waffles. Today, we are going to be looking at sort of a quiz as to how you can tell if you're an alternative girl or not. And it is truly a time capsule of the time in 2020. Back when the e-girls and the e boys took over TikTok and there are still people out there today that believe an alternative girl is a Belle Delphine copy and paste, which I absolutely, I hate that. That is an e-girl. That is not an alt girl. Now we can sit here and argue until the cows shit and moan, all right? That you can be in a subculture and not have to look the part because that is very much true. For instance, I am a goth. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Bye. <laughs> and I don't necessarily look goth every single day. There are a lot of misconceptions that when you are a goth, you have to be the cut and paste trad goth. And that notion, that narrative can get a little bit annoying because being goth for me is about the love for the music, the love for the books, the art, the literature, and even the architecture. Like, oh my God, gothic buildings? Bring those back. I am so tired of sad beige homes. No one wants to look at that. And shut up about this, okay? I'm in a rental. I am not allowed to put anything up. Introducing the alt girl. What is an alt girl and how can I tell if I am one? There's more to it than wearing a pair of chunky Doc Martens. Yeah, no, no way. Being alternative isn't just about putting on some boots and suddenly you're a rebel to the world. I mean, <laughs> this is this is going to be absolutely amazing. So to my alternative folks or my basic bafies, get a cup of tea, get a disguise drink. Don't worry, this is just water, okay? It's just water. It's a Monday morning. We have seen so many TikTok personas, ranging from the Visco girl to the e-boy. And now get ready for the rise of the alt girl. You've probably seen them all over your feed. It kind of takes you back to your emo phase except that this is cooler and somehow more fashionable. So should you consider becoming one? Here's the thing. So when I got into alternative subculture, it would have been, oh my God, it was so long ago. Would have been around the time when I was like 12, 13, 14, you know, I dyed my hair black. I was like, oh, Slipknot is the heaviest band to ever exist. And I like, I absolutely loved like falling in reverse, bring me the horizon. I've already spoken about this before. I had like this emo to goth pipeline. That is my favorite pipeline, by the way. So, so, so sexy. But nowadays it's heavily fashion focused. So it has really nothing to do with music, media, books, anything like that. All alternative is, is the fashion. And look, the fashion is absolutely just impeccable. Okay. But I think why there is so much discord course within the alternative communities alike is the fact that the subculture is treated as though it's just a fashion statement as opposed to how we choose to live our lives. You know, I embrace a lot of the obscurities in life. Like I absolutely love cemeteries. I know, I know. So, so cliche goth, but everyone is dead there. No one there is judging you. Nobody there cares about you because they're all dead. Well, you don't look goth today, so you're not goth. Like I'm the goth police. And I think that that is what's most annoying because it's like, no, goth is not about wearing black. And that is what brings a lot of discourse to this shit. And it's just, it is annoying. But at the end of the day, you really have to find yourself, even if it is cringe, even though this was only just three years ago, it is very much a present thought that being alternative is just about the fashion and it isn't. The whole whole point of alt girls is that they are different from all these other aesthetics. They are quite literally alternative. Yeah, no shit. They are typically characterized as 
teenage girls who have dyed hair, wear thrifted clothes, and listen to alternative music. They are typically characterized as teenage girls. I don't really like that because it's like, no, 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 no. Alternative girls are really any age, and it's not alt girl, it's alt anyone. <laughs> I hate that. What even is an alt girl? Oh, what is an alternative person? And this article, like, it, it's really funny because it just bases the entire meaning of alt girl off of stereotypes that are like, oh, you know, if she has dyed hair, if she wears Doc Martens, that's definitely an alt girl. It's like, what? How are you going to say that? You don't even know her. What if she's a Swifty? What if she's a Swifty and she has no part in the alternative culture? They're often rebellious and have an, I don't care attitude. Going against the norms is a big part of the identity and alt girls often embrace the fact that they are antisocial. Ew, I don't like that. I don't like that. You know why I don't like that stigma is because a lot, and I, I'm speaking for myself and, you know, my groups of friends and just people I've met in general who identify as alternative, as an umbrella term, because, you know, got a lot of goths, emos, Midwest emos that I talk to. So it's kind of just like, it's not so much about being antisocial. It's kind of that we have issues, not all of us, but I myself have a lot of mental health issues such as, you know, the depression, the anxiety, but like I have such severe anxiety to the point where I have to plan out my grocery trips. Like I have to make sure that like I get in, get everything I need. And if I forget one thing that I have have to go back down the street to get, I can sometimes have a breakdown. Like that's how bad my anxiety is. And it's not by choice that I want to be antisocial. And it's not the choice that a lot of my alternative friends want to be antisocial. But a lot of what happens is when we are already against the quote unquote norm, we tend to fall into being outcasts. And I mean, I was an outcast in school. I, you know, the only place that I've ever felt accepted is on the internet. I feel like a lot of you wouldn't expect that I am quite anxious because I speak so confidently and openly to the camera, but in real life, I'm just like, oh... <laughs> Hi. People don't want to identify as antisocial. And I feel like that's a really icky thing to put onto alt girls because there are so many alternative girls. People. Nah, I've got to stop using girls. People. There are so many alternative people that are extroverted as fuck. that negative stigma once again. Oh, if she's an alt girl, she's fucking antisocial. Go, don't go near her. She won't even ever go out with you. Ugh, what a depresso. An alternative style can be compared to a mix of punk, goth, indie, indie. Oh, this was in 2020, so I'm not surprised. Emo and even e-girl. These aesthetics were trending in the 2000s, but they have been adjusted to the age of social media. You will see many boards on Pinterest with titles such as grunge, old girl, or soft old girl. These kinds of styles also have a huge following on Instagram with the hashtag old girl having whatever. Okay, but how do I look like an old girl? It also helps that celebrities show off their alternative looks from time to time, bringing it back to style. Here is Maggie L Lindemann, a singer-songwriter pulling off the ultimate alt girl. <laughs> Nah, I'm sorry. She looks gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. She is absolutely stunning. Nah. So what is it about this that is alternative? It's the heavy eyeliner, streak of red hair and chunky boots that give off a rebellious teen vibe, but at the same time, oh no, oh no, honey. Not that I'm different from other girls. This is why us alternative people are dunked on a lot, are bullied a lot, made fun of a lot, because to other people, it's an I'm different from other girls. Pick me, choose me type of thing. And it's just like, no, I'm sorry. I love pumpkins. Um, I love Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, cliche. I love cemeteries. I love Susie Sue and the Banshees. Um, so it, it's just, what the fuck? I'm different from other girls. That is not what I think about every day. I look at myself right now and I'm like, oh my God, I could have done way more. You basic bitch. <laughs> uh, and here's old girl Amanda Steele, a YouTuber and a model 
pulling off classic black attire with chain necklace. Once again, she looks great. They look great, but this is like the TikTok alt. It gets even worse, okay? What we're about to, you know, read gets way worse like you know all of this fashion shit I get it I get it you know being alt there is some sort of aesthetic to it you can't lie to yourself being an alt girl is not only a look it's a lifestyle holy shit thank you so much for recognizing thank you so much for actually recognizing that whenever we put on clothes or anything like that that we're trying to hit this aesthetic instead of just being ourselves we're not trying to be like oh my god like so different no shut up a typical alt girl a typical alt girl will text in all lowercase and refrain from using emojis as much as excuse me this is not true resorting to typing out happy and sad face <laughs> this text was probably sent at 3 a.m. as it's a common trait for alt girls to stay up till late listening to music. <gasps> oh no. Guys, they've said Lil Peep. Now, as much as I love Lil Peep, he has amazing music, especially when you know you're getting drunk and stuff. Um, Love Nirvana, 21 Pilots, no. But I mean, at least they said alt and not goth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whilst alternative refers to genres of music that goes against the mainstream and commercial culture, they are often intertwined with popular culture to be a trend itself as it is with the case of alt fashion. And I feel like my disdain for a lot of this is that it's not just a trend for us. It is a lifestyle. It's our f entire identity. That is exactly why stuff like this gets critiqued so much because it's not a trend for us. And it's okay to have phases and want to dabble and dip your toes into whatever kind of aesthetic or lifestyle that, you know, you want to try out for yourself. I'm not saying that. I think what's the most hilarious part about the article that it is truly a thing of the time. Like if any journalist were to write an article like that today, they would be dunked on till the next moon landing. What do I think about all of this? Honestly, I just think it, you know, it, it's a, I don't want to use the word offensive because I don't want to sound cringe, but okay, being an alt girl, basically antisocial, you listen to Lil Peep, dyed hair, all this kind of stuff, and they don't actually delve into what alternative culture really is because what they're talking about is TikTok alt. And they should have made that pretty clear when doing this article because I feel like it's not really fair for young people to come across these kind of articles and see, okay, here is what I learned about being alternative today. And it's like, no, this is just being, this is just just wanting to be a part of a trend. And while I don't see anything wrong in that because, you know, we live our lives not as a trend. <laughs> this is kind of why I just want to do more videos like going into depth about the alternative history and the subcultures within alternative because there are a lot of them. And in no way, shape or form, don't you dare take any of this out of context and think that I don't like, you know, the people who claim to be old and they listen to little peep and they wear mini skirts and all this kind of stuff. I don't care. Do what you want to do with your life. But as somebody who takes this stuff really, really seriously and my day-to-day -day life is based around it, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not just about the, the leather corsets and the big ass an eyeliner and looking dead most of the time, but it's so much more to me than that. And so if you are interested in like a deep dive about this, definitely let me know. Um, I just wanted to go through this with you guys today because it gave me a huge laugh. And I was thinking, you know, even if you're a basic baby, you could definitely have a laugh at this because it's like, it is funny. It is funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So with all of that being said, my lovelies, my lovely little ducklings, I will see you all soon. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.